Welcome, wherever you are watching this, to our liturgical walk on the way of the cross, the Via Dolorosa uh, in the old city of Jerusalem. This is a traditional walk marking the 14 stations which uh, show the last moments of Jesus' life from the moment when he is condemned to death to his crucifixion. And Christians have been doing this walk uh, in this place for many centuries. And we at St. George's College and at the cathedral uh, regularly do this with our pilgrims to draw us close to the final moments of Jesus's life and help us to appreciate in a really special way uh, what Jesus uh, did for us, what God has done for us in his son, Jesus Christ. And so with a short and simple liturgy of readings uh, and call and response, we will uh, walk this way and we invite you to walk with us as we enter into Holy Week. And yes, the city is going about its daily life and there will be the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life which is part of our usual experience here. And so we begin. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes and the whole council held a consultation, and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You have said so. Now at the feast, he used to release for them one prisoner for whom they asked. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder in the insurrection, there was a man called Barabbas. And the crowd came up and began to ask Pilate to do as he was wont to do for them. And he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate again said to them, then what shall I do with the man who you call the king of the Jews? And they cried out again, Crucify him. And Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted out all the more, Crucify him. And Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they sentenced him to die? Were you there when they sentenced him to die? Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. When you there, when they sentenced him to die. Station two. Jesus receives his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Pilate brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, and in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. He said to the Jews, Behold, your king. They cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! 
Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the Place of the Skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. Station three. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your own cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole. And with his bruises we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before his shearers is dumb, so he did not open his mouth. Holy, holy God, God, holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. There when they fell beneath the cross, were you there when he fell beneath the cross? Oh, oh, oh sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble. Were you there when he fell beneath the cross? Station number four. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' mother said to him, Son, why you have treated us so? Behold your father, and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How oh, is that you saw? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Simeon said to Mary, Behold, this child is set for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and the sword will pass through your own soul also. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when that mother met her son? Were you there when that mother met her son? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when that mother met her son? 
The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Jesus called to him the multitude with his disciples and said to them, If anyone would come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Share in the suffering as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. You there when they silent held the cross? Were you there when silent held the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when Simon held the cross? The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you are redeemed the world. He grew up before the Lord like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own home, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave them power to become children of God. The king will answer those at his right hand, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. There when the woman rolls the tongue, were you there when the woman rolls the tongue? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. When you there, bring the moon and draw the town. Station 7. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All the day I go about mourning. 
for my loins are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O oh my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. He had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people, because he himself was tested by what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Station 8, Jesus speaks to the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A great crowd of people followed Jesus, and among them were women who were beating their breast and wailing for him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. But weep for yourselves and your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. Holy, holy God, God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. Did you weep with the women on the way? Did you The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Our steps are made firm by the Lord when he delights in our ways. Though we stumble, we shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds us by the land. We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who is very respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near 
to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. There when he fell on final time, when you dread, when he fell on final time, oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder. Wonder, were you there when he fell one final The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it shall be. For dogs are round about me, a company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. For my clothing they cast lots. Holy God, Holy, holy and mighty, mighty holy, holy immortal one, one have mercy on us. Were you there when they stripped him of his clothes? Were you there when they stripped him of his clothes? Oh, oh, oh. Sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when they stripped him of his clothes? The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified Jesus and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. There was also an inscription over him saying, This is the King of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God? For we are receiving the due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Were you there? when they nailed him to the cross. Oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. 
Were you there when they nailed him to the cross? Station 12, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl of vinegar stood there, so they put a sponge full of vinegar on hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. The soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. These things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken, and they shall look on him whom they have pierced. Holy God, God holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they crucified the Lord? Were you there when they crucified the Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when they crucified our Lord? Station 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. After this, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him permission. So he came and took away the body. Nicodemus also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pounds in weight. They took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a pot's herd, and my tongue sticks to my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Holy Amen. God, holy, holy and, and mighty, mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they took him from the cross? Were you there when they took him from the cross? Oh, sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when they took him from the cross? The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Joseph of Arimathea brought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the shroud and laid him in the tomb, where he where has been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled the stone against the door of the tomb. Mary, the mother of Jesus, saw where he was laid. 
Do you not know that all of us have been baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? We are buried therefore with him by baptism into death so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. So you must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy, holy immortal one, one, have mercy upon us. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to wonder, wonder, wonder. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? And so we pray. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your, your name, name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests and deacons, that, that they may be faithful, faithful ministers, ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there, there may be justice and peace on earth. earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that, that our, our works may find favour in your, your sight. sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that, that they, they may be delivered, delivered from, from their distress. distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, that, that light, light perpetual shine, shine upon them. We pray for our own needs and for the peace of this holy city. Amen. So we conclude our journey on the way of the cross and we have come to the door of the sepulchre itself and as sometimes happens we find it closed and there is a service taking place but uh, we conclude in this place of Jesus's burial and his resurrection with uh, wishes to you wherever you are for a, a blessed holy week and uh, we thank you for joining us uh, at this special time and we send our warmest Christian greetings to you, to your community, to your churches, to all those you love and care for and pray for God's blessing upon our world and upon each and every person that we would be led into the ways of justice and of peace. And may the Church of God be filled with the sound of joy of the Easter Resurrection. We are a small group from the Cathedral of St. George's uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, Canon Don Binder, the Archbishop's Chaplain, uh, uh, Chris Binder, uh, Julianne Sewell, and me, Richard Sewell, the Dean of St. George's College. And also on camera at the moment is uh, Salim, who is an ordinand uh, here in the Diocese of Jerusalem and we are delighted to have been able to share in this moment with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Amen.